Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm a horticulturist here at Rogers Gardens and I'm here to talk to you about adding fall color to your garden. Here in Southern California, we don't get a lot of seasonal change like the other states. So on one hand, that means we miss out on all the fall color that you normally see in the trees. But on the other hand, that also means that we get to go out in our yard and enjoy it year round and plant in it year round and get prepped and ready for spring as well. One of the things I like to do is add fall color to my garden so that way I feel that sense of autumn coming on. What I like to do to do that is add all the different fall colors like the browns, the reds, the oranges, even the pinks and the really pretty yellow colors in to my garden to accomplish that feeling. A lot of people when they think about adding color to a garden they automatically start thinking about flower color. Um, but really, there's a lot of ways to accomplish this with a lot of different unusual foliage colors as well. This box here actually is a really prime example of how you can accomplish that gorgeous fall feeling with mostly foliage color. This box here, what this has in it, this crepe myrtle is one of my all-time favorite things at the moment. This is called a black diamond crepe myrtle. So you're still gonna get the really beautiful color in the flowers, but the foliage color is gonna be purple year round. So that makes that foliage color just pop because you have so much contrast in it. Um, another really great thing they added in here is coleus. The coleus here has the really great contrast with the green and the yellow in it, but this comes in a ton of different colors as well. You can get it in these hot pink colors. You can get it in deep dark purples. Uh, you can get reds and oranges and yellows all in one kind of plant, which is pretty amazing. Another really fantastic thing they have in here is heuchera. This purple heuchera is really fantastic, but it comes in a ton of different colors as well. There's oranges, there's yellows, there's greens, and that's a perennial, so it's a really great time to start adding perennials to your garden too, because this is when we're establishing things for spring. I wanna show you some examples of some of the plants that you can use in your garden. Um, this is the crepe myrtle that we were looking at in that box. Um, this is a black diamond crepe myrtle. This is a perennial. It will be a large shrub or tree in your yard. Um, and the leaf color stays purple year round. It does go deciduous, so it will drop these leaves, but when they come back, they'll start out in that purple color. What's really great, the one we were looking at is a hot pink color. This is shell pink, so it's gonna have a light pink flower on it. We even have a purple color. And really, it's that contrast in the leaf color and the flower color that really makes this plant pop and is truly currently one of my favorite plants that we have at the moment. Another really great perennial to start in your garden right now is leucodendrons. Um, these come with all this beautiful red-tipped foliage that stays year-round perennial for you. Um, and again, fall is the time for planting, so this is a really great time to establish all those perennials in your garden. Also, we have all kinds of euphorbias. This euphorbia here is one of my favorites. This euphorbia is called Blackbird. Euphorbia comes in tons of different colors as well. You can get some variegated colors, you can get some limey greens, some yellows in it. And this is a great time to establish all your perennials in your garden. Um, then we have tons of annuals as well. Um, all the coleuses, like I spoke about before, we have all this really beautiful color in all the foliages that you can get. It comes in all these beautiful red colors, these orange colors, all this dappling on it. Uh, coleus is really kind of one of those magically colored plants that you can have in your garden. Also, it's a great time for mums. Mums is the perfect fall plant, uh, the perfect fall color. Nothing screams uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving kind of like a mum does. Um, the other really great thing about mums is mums is a clean air plant, uh, which is really kind of an interesting thing. It filters out tons of toxins from the air and release a lot of oxygen into the air as well. So don't just think about them in your garden, but think about bringing them into your house, having them on your tables, having them on your desks, uh, your dining room table as well, because they really do clean the air for you. 
Some other things that I like to add into my garden ornamentally, um, but is also really useful to have in your garden, is things like herbs and uh, vegetables. Some of this stuff people don't even realize when just looking at it is actually herbs and vegetables that you can use. This is sage, which is perfect for Thanksgiving, but sage comes in all different kinds of colors. You have your gray sage, this is purple sage. We have tricolored sage, which is a beautiful and variegated sage that has purples, whites, and greens, and really looks beautiful mixed in with all of your ornamental plants. And then the great thing is, is when you need it, you can go out and snip off of it and you have fresh sage in your garden. Um, also we have ornamental kale and I really love this is uh, mustard which is really fantastic so it is something that you can also trim as well and use it in different kinds of braised greens too and the color is so fantastic so you can mix it right in with your ornamental plants um, but have usable plants in your garden as well also like we had talked about earlier, this is heuchera. So in that box, we had the purple heuchera. This is an example of this really beautiful kind of orange heuchera, but the bottom side of the leaf has this red color. So this really screams fall color because uh, it gives you almost that change that you see normally in the trees back east. Um, but this is a really beautiful perennial that you can establish in your garden right now, have year round, and fall is the time for planting all your perennial plants. Um, another one of my favorites is marigolds. Marigolds are a really fantastic plant. Um, I love the smell of marigolds. Marigolds are actually edible, so you can pull off some of these uh, petals and add them into your salads to give you some really pretty color. And also marigolds are traditionally used in all of the Day of the Dead ceremonies. Um, so it's a perfect thing to add into your fall garden. One thing you don't want to forget when you're adding all of your fall color into your garden um, is that fall is the time for planting your bulbs. So as you're out there getting it dirty, getting into the ground, don't forget, put your bulbs in because you're getting yourself ready for spring. There's so many different kinds of bulbs on the market. You can do stuff um, that will have the kind of pretty colors in it that will match the perennial plants that you've planted in that you are gonna have year round. Um, there's just all kinds of really beautiful options. Hyacinths that smell fantastic, tulips, um, all the narcissus and daffodils as well. Make sure you look at the back of your package and see if you need to chill your bulbs. Because we don't have the winter with the snow like most states get, uh, some of your bulbs need to be chilled in the refrigerator before you plant them. So it will tell you on the back if it's a plant that needs to be chilled or not. You just throw them into the refrigerator, pull them out, get them in the ground. They'll think that they've gone through a cover of snow because you've tricked them in your refrigerator, um, but they'll pop up in the spring, beautiful, nothing like bulbs in springtime but this is a time fall to get them in the ground to have them in the spring thank you for joining me today to see all of the beautiful fall colors we have available here at rogers gardens remember fall is a time for planting rogers gardens brings beauty into your home and garden <music>